Hey everybody, it's Sadler and welcome back to How to Date a Magical Girl. Right then, last we left off, we were home after just finishing our second day at the Academy for Magical Girls. Yeah. Ah, finally home. Freedom, sweet freedom. The rest of the day went pretty quickly. I ended up taking Yui's advice and started writing more notes during other classes. Now I have a good two or three written pages. <laughs> Way to go. Just tackling those... Ugh. When school wrapped up for the day, I said goodbye to Hikari and Yui and returned home. I'm feeling pretty exhausted. I guess it's what two days of class will do to you when you're not used to studying. <laughs> I think it's just what class does you, what school does you in general. <laughs> I suppose I'll get some dinner and have an early night. After all, it's only Wednesday tomorrow. I have to get through the rest of the school, uh, school before I can relax. God damn it. Well, it's bound to happen eventually. Tutorial morning routine. Use the time before school each morning to prepare for the day ahead. From your bedroom, you can view the calendar and check your friend's schedules. Plan your day according to the schedule of who you want to spend time with. Extra morning routine options will open up later in the game. I've got some time before school. What should I do? Uh, well, okay, let's see. What's... Total magical history. Alchemy. That is alchemy. I know magic. Homeroom. It's currently raining... On the 29th. Is that going to come into play somehow? Well, we'll see. Hikari's affection is at 3%. Yui's is at 0. Forest? Cutie, cutie star? Cutie star? Is that the... N be sure to know, uh, get to know all of your friends just in case one turns out to be weird. <laughs> Thank you for the slightly barely veiled warning. Okay, uh... Evening in the classroom, night at the cafe. She uh huh. Evening in the library, night at the forest. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. Okay, this is more along the lines of what I was hoping for. So, good job. Even the music is nice. A nervous tension's in the air when I entered the school lab this morning. According to Hikari, we'll be having our first alchemy class. The teacher is supposedly somewhat crazy, so we have that to look forward to. <laughs> It'll mean it's entertaining and dangerous. People can die. <laughs> Attention. Exciting. I managed to grab a seat between Hikari and Yui like usual. As soon as all the other students are settled, the classroom door bursts open and a man barges in. Brimok? <laughs> Only. Good morning, students. I am your alchemy teacher, Henri Steiner. You will all do as I say, and that way, no one will get blown to pieces. <laughs> the students are silent. No one dares laugh along with the teacher. None of us can tell if he's serious or not. What drugs are you on, or have you not been getting any sleep lately? <laughs> Is there a chance we'll get blown up in this class? What have I got myself into? The man before us looks like some sort of mad scientist. His lab coat is torn and burned, and a maniacal grin, uh, glint keeps appearing in his eyes. You're all new to the academy, so I'll go ahead and uh, assume none of you have any inkling as to the true nature of alchemy. Alchemy is not magic. Alchemy is not science. Alchemy is a precise art and can only be practiced by those who dedicate themselves to it fully. You might ask, why must I learn? We must. Why? Why must we learn alchemy if it's not magic? I'll tell you why. Without alchemy, you. Uh, Without alchemy, you magical girls wouldn't have any means of defending yourself should your powers fail you. The greatest magical girls in the world have used alchemy to turn the tides of battles that their innate powers could not win. Imagine, ha imagine, imagine, imagine having the ability to forge weapons from common ingredients. Imagine having the option to brew potions so potent that one could sip, uh, that one sip could vanquish your foe in an instant. These are the doors alchemy will open for the cunning magical girl. Having an arsenal of options in combat is always a good thing. With all that said, I want it to be known that, the mo that most of you will fail this class. Most of you will not have the that de 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 will not have the ability to talk, or the or the dedication, the perseverance to master alchemy. However, I still expect you all to do your best. I will accept absolutely no less than that. This guy is intense. That's one way of putting uh, uh, saying he's absolutely off his rocker. I've never had a teacher like him before. It's painfully clear that he's passionate about his subject, but why do I get the feeling he sees us as guinea pigs and not students? Before we begin brewing potions or forging items, you must understand the very basic principles of alchemy. 
Can you, anyone tell me the names of the three components that must be included in every single alchemy recipe? The glass is silent. Just when I think nobody's going to answer this impossible question, Yui timidly raises her hand. Of course, it would be you. Uh, yes, you there. Can you answer the question? Um, yes, sir. The names of the three components used in every alchemy recipe are the base, the solvent, and the catalyst. Aha, bingo. Well done, young one. Yui beams the teacher's praise. I'm genuinely surprised she knew the answer to that question. I'm not. <laughs> Just seems actually to make sense. Makes me a little bit more worried about the whole sweets thing, though. <laughs> oh god. Although, being that she's fairly studious, I suppose it's not that out of the ordinary for her to know such a thing. The base, the solvent, and the catalyst. The, uh, the uh, three components that together form the foundation of every alchemy recipe. In order to successfully synthesize an item or brew a potion using alchemy, you need those three components. The components themselves can take many forms. Even some everyday items can be used in alchemy. Just because an item doesn't have special properties, it doesn't mean it can't be used in a powerful recipe. In future lessons, I will go into detail about finding alchemy uh, components in the world around us. For now, I command you to open your notebooks and start writing the following. And this is where I, t I tune out. The rest of the lesson continued reasonably smoothly. Even though nothing got blown up today, the students didn't seem to let their guard down for one second. I don't think I'll ever forget Mr. Sinus' eccentric attitude. That. Before I knew it, my third day at school was over. Nikori and Yui said farewell uh, at the gate. There's still a bit of time to get, uh, before it gets dark. Maybe I should use my time after school to make the most of my new student life. Mm, yes. But what can I do? I could look around the school grounds, go into town, or spend some time studying. Or I could try and meet some girls. My thoughts drifted back to yesterday when I shared lunch with Yui and Nikari on the rooftop. Oh, an actual flashback. <laughs> Ugh. Just so you know, I'm single too, and I thought we would, we would, we've already seen this. That's pretty much my goal. Part of my New Year's. Yeah. That's right. Yui and I both want to have partners by New Year's Eve. I really should make that my ultimate goal. I don't want to ring another, another New Year solo. If I really think about it, I tend to think the Academy is the best opportunity I'll ever have to meet a girl. After all, the place is jam-packed full of cute, magical girls. So, I'm going to do it. I'll find someone special. Someone I can call my love. Ba -ba -da -ba. I use my time here effectively and meet with the girl of my dreams. Tutorial, your school life. You don't have a life anymore. Starting today, you can make the most of your school life. Go ahead and meet as many people as you can. Form ongoing relationships and build trust with the people you care about. Select the travel option to explore. The world is now open to you. Will you seize every opportunity? No. God damn. Tutorial time. During the evening and night, you can choose activities to participate in. Some actions take up time. Yo, you don't say. Me sitting here doing nothing could take up time. It wouldn't accomplish anything, but it would still eat up my life. Little, you know, second at a time. Ugh. Performing an action in the evening will progress time to night. Activities at night will move time forward to the day. Okay. Either the current time and day at the top of the screen right. Actions that take time. Dating or spending time with girls, reading books, studying magic, wearing potions, one in the forest. Free actions. Traveling, shopping, giving gifts, talking to characters, perform as many of these actions you like. Okay. So traveling, shopping, giving gifts, talking to characters, perform as many of these actions. Okay, so those are the free ones. Interesting. Right. Time to squander my... What little free time I have. Travel somewhere else. Well, I mean, oh, okay. Home. Outskirt, special, town, school, school day, classroom, hallway, library. Ah! Uh, wait a minute, where, where, where did, uh. Classroom, right, that's a lot. But. Does that, does that tip, chain, tip change? Cutie Star sees. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that isn't remotely horrifying at all. <laughs> wow. Okay. No. No, thank you. I, none of that. Class, uh, so basically Hikari or Yui. Um, uh, let's see if I can potentially advance my relationship with Yui at all. Reading books. 
no. You can borrow a book from the school library, but only one book at a time. You can read books at your home during your free time. When you finish reading a book, you will gain a significant boost to a key attribute. Your your crime items in the inventory menu. Okay. Really? No. You wait today. Who are you? These library surfaces. Oh, would that actually take up? Mm, I don't, I don't, I don't, I've already forgotten. God damn it. <laughs> okay. I decided to test the, the whole, uh, just to make sure, so I can go ahead and borrow a book and then keep going. So that's cool. Okay. Uh, and I got it as you saw a perception book. So tell me the Yui. Yui's affection means I have to ask her on a date. So I can't just talk to her. I try to get her affection level up to 10% before we're asking her out. Should I hang out with her anyway and increase her affection? This will take up time. Okay, yes, that was my intention to begin with. <laughs> but it's just informing me. I thought it was like saying, you can't talk to her because you can't ask her date yet. It's like, what the fuck? I hang out with Yui and we discuss a few topics. Yui gets a little nervous when we start talking about her hopes and dreams. Yui's affections increase by one. Key attributes. It's a coin. Uh, improve your mind and body by raising your key attributes. Improving these key attributes will make you more desirable to other people. There are many ways to build up your attributes. Reading books is a start. You dumb, illiterate moron. <laughs> that was a really redundant in several ways. Okay, uh, right, so that's menu. That's a good point. What? I forgot. Uh, report card. F. <laughs> okay, read a book. I created a book of perception one. Reading it will increase my perception attribute. Since I haven't started the book yet, it might take some time to complete. There are three large chapters. Yes. I dive into the book and devote all my attention to reading. Time takes by as I turn page after page. I'm starting to get sleepy, so I'll stop here for now. There are two chapters remaining. Time to get some sleep. You know the little kind of jingle effect there almost reminds me of the, uh, the little jingle that uh, Freddy played in uh, whenever the power would go out and you'd be sitting there waiting as his eyes look in the dark. Good morning. Good morning. The girls are waiting for me at the school gate. Apparently Hikari is excited about something because she's a crazy grin on her face. Oh no. Today's the day I've been waiting for. It's practical magic day. Huh? Whoa, whoa. What's that? Are you serious? Practical magic classes where we actually get to go out of the uh, go out of the classroom and use magic. Oh, really? Yes, really. Geez, didn't you pay attention during Miss Osaka's cl uh, first class? That's a dumb question. You know it. Hmm. Uh, which one is Miss Osaka again? Kari pouts. She hates it when I act like I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> She'd hate it even more if she know if I wasn't making it up. Miss Osaka uh, told us to call her Satomi on the first day of school. She's the one with the big, um... <laughs> Atta girl. Ah, uh, yeah, Satomi Osaka, our homeroom teacher. How can I forget my mature, well-endowed crush? That's new, but okay. Hmm. Anyway, Satomi, I mean, Miss Osaka, she told us all about the classes we'll be taking, and the one that sounded the most exciting was Practical Magic. Hikari's eager grin returns. I don't doubt that she's been looking forward to this class. I suppose it does sound kind of cool. I'll be able to see what all the girls are capable of, though I don't know if I'll be able to perform any magic. Well, shall we head to class? Sure. I started to make my way towards our classroom when Hikari grabs my shoulder. No, 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 no. We're going to be studying practical magic outside on the school field. In outside class? But there are bugs outside. And sunlight. <laughs> but will you grow up? It's nice being outside. It's sunny and warm and the springtime air smells so beautiful. But sunlight, people, no. Shut it, you're coming with us. Yui laughs and follows along as Akari drags me up toward the school field, which will bury me. Oh, hello. Good morning, students. Gather round, gather round. How are we all this morning? I know this is a very early class. A lot of you are yawning, so I do hope you're getting enough sleep. I can get eight hours of sleep, you know, seven, eight, nine hours of sleep, and still wake up completely wasted. So, no, it doesn't, that doesn't mean shit, you know it. My name is Aya Yoshida. I am your practical magic teacher. I hope we can learn a lot together. Well, that depends on whether or not I give enough a damn. And I don't, so, no. 
Being outside in the school field and looking at Miss Ishida in a track outfit makes me feel like I'm back in high school attending PE class. I'm half expecting to get hit in the head by a football in a moment. What a weird feeling. <laughs> in this class, you will learn to harness your raw magical energy. You are all capable of great feats of magic. That's why you're here at this academy, after all. A magical girl is capable of drawing upon the energy within herself and focusing it into a powerful force that can alter the fabric of reality. Magical energy can create fireballs, conjure illusions, heal the injured, shield the weak, or even stop time in its tracks. Hikari turns to me at those words. I'm reminded of the time I froze a falling glass in midair. I suppose my magic can stop time. Is that ever going to come into play with like me being able to perform more actions or something without wasting time or something? Hell, maybe it'll even come into the point where like uh, the higher my practical skill or whatever is, the, the, the better I'll get at or something. Huh. <laughs> anyway. A magical girl's disposition directly affects the kind of magic she can cast. Chances are you have all have dabbled with your magical abilities. You should all be familiar with the type of magic you're capable of producing. I'm going to ask you a few, uh, a few of you now. Please share to the class what you've learned about your, your own magic. I'll go first to give you an idea. I'm Aya. My magic lets me summon mystical fields of light that can dazzle onlookers. This is a class that has defensive magic, and I developed it due to my kind and caring personality. Your magic is the equivalent of dangling your keys in front of a toddler. <laughs> okay. Not to, not to be judgmental. Now, who can go next? Ah, you there. Hikari gasps when Miss Ishida indicates towards her. She steps forward shyly. Um, my name is Hikari. I am able to use healing magic. I first discovered this when I broke my arm falling down a staircase. I'm not sure what my personality is though. <laughs> so I don't know why I have healing magic. Miss Ishida nods and gives Akari a round of applause. Thank you for sharing, Akari. Your healing magic sounds wonderful. In my experience, it's usually those with thoughtful, generous personalities that require healing magic. Well done. Akari sits back and lines up next to me again. She looks almost ashamed, as though she's embarrassed of healing magic. The next student called upon is Yui, because of course it is. She looks even more scared than Akari did. No, oh. but, but she takes a brave step forward anyway. Uh, I, I'm Yui. My magic is a bit unreliable, and I haven't quite figured out what it is yet. All I know is that there have been a couple times when strange things have happened to me. I can't really explain it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Oh, no trouble, Yui. Please don't fret. Some girls take longer to understand their powers, and there's no shame in that. We'll help you discover your powers together. Yui seems to take comfort in Missy Shooter's words. If you other girls in the class can all, uh, all share their powers, after a bit of time, Miss Yushida's finger points to me. Guess I'm up. I step forward. You seem to be a very special case, Addison. Please, would you share a special case? That's one way of putting it. Please, would you share with the class some information about your magic powers? Well, I've only ever been able to use my power once, and I don't think I had any control over it, but I was able to freeze an object in time. Uh-oh. You froze an object in time. Yeah, it was a falling glass. It didn't just stop midair. It literally froze the contents of the glass and stopped falling. I see. How peculiar. The association shall be informed of this. And how would you describe your personality? I'm in a coma. <laughs> Constantly forgetting things, listless, just... A million adjectives flash in my mind at the speed of light. Oh my god. Our grab went at random and spit it out. Lazy. <laughs> well done. Well done. Good show. A few of the students laugh. Even Miss Yoshida cracks a smile, though I can tell she's trying not to crack up completely. Lazy, my, my. Well, I suppose I'll have to put some thought into the reasons behind your magic. Very good, Addison. I can't quite get a reading on Miss Yoshida's reaction to my magic. Does she think I'm ordinary? Is the ability to freeze time, objects in time a calm magical power, or could it be something more? Could I be the destined hero, born to rise up and conquer an evil demon lord with my ability to stop glasses falling in midair? <laughs> like you could single-handedly save the aliens from signs by not letting them get wet when some asshole hits them with a bat and knocks them into, you know, glasses of water. Mitsushita continues the lesson. 
Most of the students are quite attentive, though I can tell some people are getting easily distracted because we're, oh, we're outside. Trouble. That too. The lesson ramps up with Miss Yoshida telling us we'll begin our actual magical practice next week. That is the point a grumble erupts from the class and the sound of the school bell sends on our way. I didn't actually hear it this time. Haha! <laughs> Tomorrow's Friday. Can you believe the week has nearly ended? Nope. Seems too good to be true. Mm -hmm. I know you act like you're not impressed, but I can tell you're enjoying classes so far. Yeah, I am, to be honest. It's pretty exciting to learn with this stuff. So I know it's definitely all in their, in their imagination. Ah, oh, good. I'm really happy while we were attending the school together. We even made a, a new friend this week. You mean Yui? Where is she anyway? Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't she normally meet us here before going home? Yeah. I wonder if she got caught, caught up somewhere. Ah, I don't sweat it. We'll see her tomorrow after all. Yep. You want to walk home together? Maybe not today. I've got some things I like, like to do. Oh. Okay. Maybe next time. Well, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Hmm. <laughs> Right. School's finished, how should spend the evening? Oh, okay. I can do nothing. Okay, so neither one of them are present. Okay. I kind of expected that, but... Uh... Etherin? I'm flattered that you take the time to converse with me. Truth be told, most students pay me no heed. It's heartwarming to have some company. I've only worked at this academy for a short time. I'm very familiar with it. My own dear wife studied here once upon a time. And what an impression she made upon these hallowed halls. She reached the top of her class before graduating and was awarded with an illustrious golden star pin, the highest honor any student can achieve. Uh, but that was quite some time ago. Okay then, out of curiosity, is there anything in the hallway? Oh! Marge and the school guide stand nearby, what should I do? You're new. You wanna chat with me? Um, okay, I'm not really sure what you can offer in terms of conversation since you're a newbie. To be honest, I only volunteered to help the first year students because I have too much knowledge to keep to all myself. Oh, how generous. But you would know what that's like, would you? <laughs> I'm regretting this decision already. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to sound so harsh. You're okay. <laughs> oh no, you're okay too. <laughs> uh. What do I ever think of their first week? Ho I do hope you're all learning a lot. I remember way back when I was a student, I was overwhelmed by all the knowledge my teachers wanted to share. I, don't flatter yourself. I have a good feeling you'll, you'll, uh, you're all going to make wonderful magical girls, and I'll have, have I'll make it my sworn duty to help each and every one of you. Can you help me talk better, please? Oh, and I also want to introduce someone else that can help you. This is Marceline. I already know her. I met her. Not impressed. Marceline is a second year student, so she's your senior. Good to meet you. Marceline has kindly volunteered to, I, I don't know what's behind her words, I met her last night, uh, to offer guidance to the school's first year students. She'll be at your disposal during school hours. Since I'm your senior, I know much more than any of you, so I'll help you out. Uh, I can give you information about school life, classes, extracurricular activities, whatever. You can find me in the first floor hallways whenever you need assistance. Thank you, Marceline. For the rest of today's class, I'd like to go over what you've learned during the week class goes on. Oh, Yui, you waited for us today. Oh, hello, Addison. Hello, Hikari. Yo. I was very left yesterday without saying goodbye. I had something urgent I needed to attend to. That's it. Is everything okay? Yes, everything's wonderful. There's no need to worry. I had a great week, thanks to both of you. I'm so happy that I've made some friends here. Me too. It's been such a fun week. Should we all walk home together? Oh, I... I actually live here now, at the dorms. Oh, really? I had no idea. So I never told you sooner. Actually, the reason I left yes early yesterday was to finish settling uh, setting everything up in my room. Uh, it's a new furniture delivered, so it finally feels like home. Well, that's pretty cool. Must be nice to have your own place. It's not bad, I mean, there are students around, but my, uh, around, but my, my room is private. Private, huh? Do you not have your own place, Ikari? No, I still 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 live with my mother, and I I'm just getting worse and worse talking. I can't wait to get my own place though. I see. And what about you, Addison? I have a small apartment in town all to myself. Lucky you. Hikari still uh, seems to be moping. I think she's a bit envious that Yui and I have our own place as well. She still lives at home with her mom. 
And how do I have my own place exactly? Because I don't, it doesn't seem like I have any kind of job. Ikari, you're always welcome to visit my place, you know. And I'm sure Yui wouldn't mind having you over once in a while, too. Of course, it'd be my pleasure. Ikari brightens up a little. Thank you. I might just take you on that offer, haha. <laughs> You've opened the doors to the beast. Now she won't leave you alone. I already know how that feels. You poor, poor sod. All off for now. Have, you, have a good evening, you two. Bye, Yui. See you later. Catch ya. Should we all come together? Hmm. There's, there's still some things I want to do. Run check. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you later. Ah, she's back here. What? I'm thinking. Shh. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Thank you. Yes. Hang out. I hang out with you when we talk about it for movies. You always slowly walks away when I go on an unstoppable rant about my favorite anime flicks. <laughs> you always affect you decrease by one. Really? Uh, okay. <laughs> and now we'll be reading the last chapter of the book, Perception. Read. There was the book. Time to by, and... I finished reading the book of Perception 1. Perception is now at a D rank. My perception attribute has increased significantly by one. Time to get some sleep. 420. No, I didn't even notice it was 420. <laughs> I'm actually glad I didn't comment on it before. I'm so high. I feel a little bad that I made even a, a remark about it now. It's like I, I, had, I had a good thing going. I didn't say anything. There you go. Out the window. Beep boop. Right. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode.